enter here IP address of your revolution file. We will pop up with the software called Pictree, which is web based. And log in with your credential here. The default username is admin. And enter your password to log in. Uh, once you log in, you have to enable a services required for your project. So foods, if you want to use node red, you have to enable it from here. And if you want to use team viewer as a remote monitoring purpose, then you have to enable this uh, team viewer reopy service from there here and click on save all. So I have already enabled those services. Now we will see how we can read and control the iOS of Revolution Pi using Node Red. Go to Apps and start Node Red. Uh, before that, uh, you have to configure your hardware in Pictree. So I have connected Revolution Pi Connect module one DIO module and one AIO module as shown in this uh, diagram. This is nothing but your hardware configuration. Whatever hardware you have, you can select from this left pen and you can just drag and drop in, in this uh, uh, slots. This is my physical setup. I have connected this setup with uh, to my laptop with Ethernet cable and powered on. Now, if I go in Node Red, so to control iOS of Revolution Pi, the Conbus has developed its own library. Here, you can have this Revolution Pi nodes in node red and left pen so here you can get your input or uh, force your output through these nodes In this example we will see pin 1 input 1 status and in second uh, we will try to turn on the output 1 and try to get an input on pin 1 so what I have did here, uh, later I will export uh, this uh, flow in JSON format. So let's quickly deploy it. It's, I have already deployed it and now this is connected to my revolution pipe. Here you can see the pins are connected and this is my, uh, now we will see the dashboard for this. This is a dashboard I have created for the TCSPL. So if I click here, I will redirect it to dashboard. And here you can see I can control my output LED one. This is my output signal one, digital output one. If I want to have to monitor the status of input one here, I am giving 24 volt supply DC to my input one. So you can make see the changes taking place. When I connected 24 volt, it is one. When I disconnected, it is zero. Here you can see the changes are taking place. Mm, you can monitor this value from uh, uh, on uh, Ter terminal as well. So I will open my SSH client. Uh, here you can use uh, this software called Bitwise SSH client, or you can go with the uh, Putty Putty software. Click on login as I have entered my 
IP address of my controller and here you have to again enter your password to login. values are updated on our terminal I test read input underscore one now the value is zero and here also you can see that the digital input one status is zero now again i will give 24 volt supply here so the value is changed at terminal as well as our not noted dashboard as well i'm i'm doing the bit high and low with applying 24 volt DC supply on the input pin number one now we read the status of output one here you can see here the bit value is zero if I wait a minute I will arrange such a way that you can see both things at a time here I have turned on the output one here you can see the status is one again the status of LED is turned into green as per configuration we did in our noted application if I turn off again the value is off so you can see the values are changing in real time if you are wondering how, where I have declared this input and output variable names so you can take a look at here this is my DIO module and here the variable names this is my input one i1 and this is my output output one in a DIO module you will get a 16 number of output and 16 number of input here you can see now what we, we will do is uh, we will see how we can monitor this uh, web-based dashboard through internet there are two options we are going to see one is using uh, ng rock uh, tunneling service and uh, another way is uh, through team viewer first of all we will first of all we will go with the team viewer I will open the team viewer app application later I will provide a link where you can get to know how exactly team viewer works with Converse revolution 5 I have started my team viewer I have to uh, only thing is you have to sign in into team viewer in order to access your revolution 5 web server from anywhere in the world so I have already signed in here you can see I am using the non-commercial free license uh, application uh, once you sign in you are uh, you have to uh, go to computer and contacts and you have to search if you are in same network then your revolution 5 will automatically listed into your uh, account under my computers now if i want to connect this click here and click on remote control this is the initial step initially you have to do through your uh, lan and once you have access through lan using a team in a team viewer then this device is permanently associated with your team viewer application then whenever you wherever you download that uh, team viewer application and login with your uh, details there you can see the team viewer uh, there you can access your team viewer web server now you can see 
I am accessing it from team viewer and I can access and you also can access this from team viewer if you have my credentials now we will see how we can uh, get web server So this is my node red running on revolution pi. Uh, you have to uh, in order to work with team you are in revolution pi you uh, on a uh, on your system you need to have a internet explorer application. work with now we have developed this flow earlier and if I click on dashboard uh, this is I am using through uh, internet if your internet connection is slow it will it may take a uh, little time to load but if, if your internet speed is uh, pretty good it will load quickly so if I click here, otherwise you can do you can enter your IP address slash followed by UI 192.168.137.82 slash UI Otherwise, you can just click here, copy this URL, open new tab, one eight Now you should get the dashboard V, and now you are accessing this. Uh, not the dashboard using team viewer so again uh, status of input one here you can notice the change the value is changing that is uh, between one and zero and if i control this uh, same can be seen on uh, on the terminal uh, we will see the input status right now it is zero now i will apply and hold change you can see the changes at both places the value changed to one and now it go again uh, this is uh, one way of doing uh, remote monitoring another way as I said uh, it is a uh, ng rock now I will close my team viewer session and I will show with the uh, ng rock services you have to have uh, uh, I'll just show how you can do with ngrock there is a tunneling service web based tunneling service which you can use to access your web server through over internet ngrock uh, you have to download this and there is command to start this is a command ngrock http 
and your port number then they will give you one url through this url you can access your local host uh, i already downloaded ng rock i have to see in which directory i have saved that uh, rock maybe in desktop uh, here is uh, on desktop i have stored my ng rock software now i'll do it i have to run this command i want to access this ng rock http 1880 port i will run this command Here you can see the NGROC is uh, installed on desktop. So for that I have to associate that NGROC with my account. So for that uh, I have to before this command I have to run one more command, one more command. Actually I have forgot my uh, login. Once you log in, you will get your authentication token. You have to enter your authentication token there and you have to run that command. Uh, this is a simple way to connect. You have to download ngrock and connect your service and you can access from anywhere you will get uh, plenty of videos regarding ng rock on youtube so these are the way other ways you can use your uh, uh, vpn as well to access your uh, node dashboards so hope uh, this demo suits your uh, application let me know if you have any further doubts. Thank you for watching.